the oxygen required by a clam is dissolved in the water of its environment. This is brought into the clam through an in-current siphon. After passing through the gills, it will be expelled from the clam through an ex-current siphon. In some clams, these siphons are elongated allowing the clams to be submerged in sediment and thus protected from predators with only their siphons exposed to bring water in and out. As water enters the clam, it passes through the gills or tinidia. Each gill has two lateral halves known as demibranchs. So on one side of a clam, there is a medial demibranch and a lateral demibranch. And each demibranch then is composed of lamellae around a water tube. Water enters the gill because the cells on the surface are ciliated and the movement of their cilia creates a current. Water enters through small pores known as ostea. From the ostea, the water passes into water tubes which travel dorsally to a suprabranchial chamber which will then empty and allow the water to pass through the excurrent siphon. The gills possess small rods of chitin for support and are very rich in blood vessels. While water passes through the gills, the oxygen can diffuse into the blood.